Thank you. Um, I shared uh, Commissioner uh, Botchko's uh, concern about here. We're kind of in a in, in a terrible bind here because in the absence of us taking action on this, uh, there is unlimited fires, and the county's moratorium is, as I understand it, we consider it an enforcement issue. Um, but but I have to say, you know, um, the science is in, the debate's over. Wood smoke is a carcinogen. It just is. And um, so I, I do feel um, that um, we, we, the commission up and down the coast, need to find healthy ways to allow people access to the coast. I also uh, share this disconnect between the fabulous presentation this morning on all of our, um, you know, our uh, um, public ed information and um, that we would in any way, with a straight face, argue that wood smoke isn't harmful to, to health. And it not, I'm not just concerned about the people whose houses are there. I'm concerned about encouraging an unhealthy uh, recreation on our beaches. And that's really what we're talking about when we have wood-burning fires on the beach. It is an unhealthy recreation. Um, maybe I'm more passionate about this because my lungs are as compromised as they get short of lung cancer. So when there's uh, wood-burning smoke on the beaches, and we have had many Coastal Commission meetings uh, where you know there are bon bonfires burning, and uh, I'm not able to walk on the beach on those days. So that's limiting my access, and it limits. So we keep talking about these fires as public access, but it, um, we have to ask for whom? Who doesn't have access to the beach because they can't, their lungs will not permit them to go even walk on a sidewalk when there are a bunch of bonfires going. So that's the future. That's where we have to get to. Can we get there today? I'm kind of thinking maybe we can. Um, I disagree entirely with staff about propane uh, canisters being liquid. Um, propane canisters, there is liquid propane, and it's marked LP, liquid propane. Uh, canisters of propane gas are compressed gasoline, uh, compressed propane gas. When it gets compressed, it becomes a liquid in the canister. As soon as the pressure is released in any way, it goes back to gas. And it is true that there, there will be many issues dealing with how are they stored. Well, those are issues that we can't answer today but would be part of a study, part of the pilot program. What's a safe way to um, maintain them? Uh, maybe I'm a lot more comfortable with propane because we heat our house with it, we cook with it, we use, you know, it, it's a, if handled properly, it, it, it's safe. So, um, but today we're left with um, a, a proposal that's before us that uh, it's, it's like uh, better than unlimited fires, but it's not as good as where we really, really have to get. So I didn't intend to say this, but I'm going to support the motion with extreme discomfort and urge staff and the city staff, our staff, to go right back to work on coming up with uh, a alternative project which does get rid of fire, uh, wood smoke. It's bad for public health. And I'm not the AQMD, um, but I know how my lungs feel when I'm any place close to it. And do I think that it's the only source? No, but that is not the standard. We absolutely cannot say, you know, we wouldn't be regulating automobiles if we had to make sure which was the only source. The way we control air pollution, and I also worked at the ARB for five years, um, we, we control our air pollution to have clean air by controlling every single one of the sources that we can get a handle on. And this is one of the sources that we have to control. And I just want everybody on notice, um, I, I am... I am urging staff to work hard to find a way to maximize public access to our beaches 
up and down the coast, not just on Carmel, which is good for public health. So with that, I am unfortunately going to support this <laughs> and urge staff to get to work immediately because the wonderful thing about Carmel, unlike some of the other, is they're prepared to plunk down the money to put this in. Unlike a lot of other local governments who um, are not able to do it, it's not their priority or whatever, Carmel is saying we will step, step forward and make it available. We will make these available to uh, people who more, you know, I mean, for, so they're, pr I don't know how they're going to do that, but this is a city who is willing to put down the money. And this is the perfect case for us to do a pilot program, us, you to do a pilot program. So that's it. I'm going to vote for it. I don't like it, but I like, I like unlimited fires a lot less. Thank you. Um, that's what we have now. Yeah, and I, I, I what? go uh, before, it's, it's Commissioner Mitchell, but um, I, I see the mayor. Is, is there something that you wish to? Yeah. I would just note a couple things in terms of the process. First well, of all. Well, we'll uh, actually, I thought you were going to withdraw your application or something <laughs> like that. But uh, if you're not, then you'd, you would need to be invited to ask uh, a, to respond to a specific question from the commission. I apologize. Yeah. No, that's fine. Thank you. Uh, there still will be opportunities for that. Uh, Commissioner uh, Mitchell, then. Uh, uh, Mr. Mayor, can you talk, Mr. Mayor, can you talk to me about the, pro the process? There you go. <laughs> Funny you should ask. <laughs> I, I, I would simply observe that we're uh, in early December in an El Nino year, very heavy surf right now in the Carmel Beach that has effectively eliminated the beach on the south end. Uh, I don't think that there is a substantial issue in terms of public access or, frankly, health in the next few months. I would Thank just you. observe that that means that we have an opportunity to work together in the next few months versus if this motion passes, I'm afraid that it will put us in an adversarial position. And I don't want that because I want to work with your staff. Uh, I haven't been able to successfully because they have this interpretation of propane as a liquid. But if you could clarify that, then I think that we would be able to work with them and we would be able to develop a program. If you adopt a pilot program that our city council has said we have no intent of implementing, I don't know whose interest we are serving other than uh, to uh, create a dynamic where um, there may be less opportunity to work together. And I would respectfully request that you allow some time and clarification on that pro propane issue. Um, okay. Asking us to implement a program that we're not going to implement doesn't, doesn't do anything for the public. Okay, thank you for that. <laughs> um, I just want to say I agree with everything uh, Commissioner Schallenberger said. Um, absolutely, 100%. Um, this is something that we need we need to address. My concern here is that, you know, we're the Coastal Commission is looking at an air quality issue. And that's not our purview. That needs to be done by the people that are experts. That's stretching our jurisdiction and shouldn't be something that we're the deciding factor on. So having said that, our charge and the reason that we would put upon you this pilot program of 26 is because our charge is access. So if, if you say, no, no beach bonfires and no ability in the interim while we're looking at this and while experts are deciding on the air quality issue. That's against, this is our, that's our job to, to stop that. So I will be supporting the motion. Um, I uh, appreciate what you're trying to do and I think it's the right public policy direction. I think that actually this is an opportunity because it's such a small town um, and we have a mayor that's obviously passionate about this issue. Uh, for us to work on it, for us, for our staff to work on it, um, to work collaboratively um, and make sure that we work out something that is actually, that it can be replicated around the state. I will say propane is a gas. <laughs> propane is a gas. It's not used for heating your home, but it is used for heating the lamps that we all use when we're dining outside in different restaurants. Those are propane in your gas fire pit 
fire um, barbecue. So, you know, and I, my, um, I had my spouse turning it on one day and trying to figure it out and, you know, concerned he was going to blow himself up. And I said, look, they make these things so that drunk people can do it. You're going to be fine. They don't, you don't see drunk people blowing up all over when they're turning on their outdoor heaters. So propane is safe. It's used in a lot of different ways. It is, um, it does throw off warmth. I had a propane um, a fire pit at my old house. Um, so it's a gas. Let's work through this. I mean, we could come back with an LCP amendment. I don't, I don't know why there's such resistance to that from Carmel by the Sea. Um, but I would like to see this, you know, something worked out in a way that we can use uh, up and down the state because it is a, a public health issue and something that we need to come to terms with and balance. So thank you. Thank you. Commissioner Howe, then Commissioner Luebano. Uh, thank you, Chair Kinsey. Um, I agree with everything that Commissioner uh, Mitchell said. Uh, I'm a little confused about this whole thing then. Uh, this issue of liquid, gas, it feels like how many angels can dance on the head of a pin. Uh, you're going the right direction policy-wise, so why aren't we just continuing this matter, letting the city of uh, Carmel uh, go with their pilot program? Well, we all agree that we shouldn't be burning wood, and um, it's a carcinogenic. Uh, why, why aren't we just letting them work it out in dealing with this in February? Thank you. March. Commissioner Luevano. Um, well, to cut the tension a little, I'm just going to say we need a fire in here clean to keep this room warm. It's way too cold in here. Um, <laughs> The question I had, I think, was answered by the mayor, which was, I'm looking at this data, and it's um, from May of this year till October. So I'm assuming that between October and the end of April, there aren't too many people burning fires on the beach. Is that? There's no beach. Yeah, no. OK, all right. Um, and, and given that that isn't an issue, I, I mean, I would like to see this worked out. Um, I would like to see the two sides come together. I understand the issue or the, the, the challenge that we're up against, but if there's a way that we can do that, I'd like to see that happen. Thank you. Um, okay, I, I'll have uh, just a few comments to make myself. Uh, you know, what we're faced with is um, our heritage versus our health uh, of our community. And um, I think that uh, over and over again, we've seen um, that ultimately the more we learn about healthy living, the more we take actions to ensure it, um, and, and that this is no, no different. Um, I also think that uh, this scale of this community, this beach, uh, the willingness of the city to be innovative really needs to be recognized and, and appreciated, and that um, while there may be, need to be some more documentation around the uh, safety, uh, I think it can be provided. Um, and while I don't want to get, I don't want my colleagues characterizing my comments around liquid or gas uh, to impede the progress, uh, ultimately, if an LCP amendment is needed to, to clean that up, that's not an en enormously onerous task. I do think that this is a chance to work with a community that wants to be at the forefront of this issue and could help other California communities um, that are going to consider addressing it. Um, and it doesn't take away, you know, a single marshmallow from being cooked uh, on the beach. Um, so in that regard, um, I would just say that I'm very comfortable with a continuance uh, to allow for that. Um, but I, I hear my colleagues uh, and their willingness to uh, put the city into its legal situation. Um, I think if, if you do come back, whether it's uh, through a continuance or through uh, a determination to change the permit that would be issued today, um, that it would be helpful to consider residential wood smoke and just be able to address that so that it doesn't appear that you're you know, cherry picking where you want to uh, improve the health of the community. Um, and I don't know, but I'm, I'm assuming that there are not any other nearby locations where beach fires would be permitted or farther away from residential development. Um, but certainly if there, are, if there are locations where they would make more sense to allow them, um, then I think that it would be useful to bring that information forward. So 
with that, uh, and no other commissioners wishing to speak, uh, we have a motion uh, on the floor. And Commissioner Schaumburg. May I just ask staff, I, I said uh, that I, for one commissioner, would like them, if we approve this, for them to go right back to work with the, um, with the city of Carmel to work on this pilot project. Um, is that something that you are prepared and willing and have the resources to do? Well, I think, um, yes, absolutely, at a basic okay. level. But I also think there's a lot of questions associated with the program. That I we understand that. On. That's not the question. The question is, will you be willing to sit down, uh, uh, you know, soon and continue to work on this in a good faith way? Because I think what you're hearing from the dais is that the commission would like to go in that direction. And we would like to have this come before us as a proposal um, using propane. We're not comfortable with what we're voting on today. No, so my question is, will you and do that in good faith? Yes, absolutely. I, I want you to be assured that's something we've told the city of Carmel. So if you're getting an impression otherwise, that's, that's not an actual thing that's going on here. We're, Thank you. We've been happy to work with the city on this. Thank you. Uh, Vanessa, we have a motion and second. Would you call the roll, please? Commissioner Bochco. Commissioner Bochco. Sorry. Are you going to vote? Did you ask me to? Did you ask me? Vanessa asked We're you to. We're arguing over here. It's yeah. here. Uh, yes, I'm voting yes. Bochco, yes. Excuse me? The, the, motion, the, the, the motion was made to support the staff's yeah. recommendation. So this would be to provide a, a, a coastal development permit uh, for 26 fire rings uh, in conjunction with the other special conditions that the staff has recommended. So we are in the middle of a vote. And uh, we have Commissioner Bochco, uh, yes, and please carry on. Commissioner Howell. No. Howell, no. Commissioner Luevano? No. Luevano, no. Mm -hmm. Commissioner McClure? Yes. McClure, yes. Commissioner Mitchell? No. Commissioner Mitchell? She said no. Oh, no, sorry. Mitchell, no. Commissioner Schellenberger? No. Schellenberger, no. Commissioner Turnbull Sanders? Yes. Turnbull Sanders, yes. Commissioner Vargas? Yes. Vargas, yes. Chair Kinsey? No. Chair Kinsey, no. The vote is four yes, five no. So, um, so if I could ask, uh, the consequence of that is we did not vote to approve that permit. Um, so what are our options? Obviously, we know that Lisa Haga said that she has an enforcement matter that she has to consider. Um, do we have the opportunity to continue this matter uh, at this time uh, so that this application remains ripe and active? I have a four-year-old that needs me home. I apologize. I very much appreciate all of your attention to this, every member of the public and your staff. Um, but uh, duty is a father calls. Thank there you, you go. Uh, I uh, feel yes. like a four-year-old right now. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, Chair Kinsey, uh, the commission has already voted on the main motion on the amendments application. So the commission has taken a final action on this matter. So there, there's nothing to continue. There's nothing to um, continue. And therefore, uh, the um, application is done. And folks would have to start over. But we would, be, we would also be in a position of um, allowing the enforcement actions to go forward as they choose uh, independently. Certainly, you know, there are a range of other options. You know, staff in the right. city can continue working with each other. Uh, commission staff can yes. pursue enforcement options. Chair Kinsey, um, yep. you know, this would be a low priority for enforcement That's and what I want to hear. we would intend to work with the city on bringing back a program that would address the concerns we heard today. Thank you very much. Okay, with that, thank you all for your participation and uh, this is not a matter that is over, but enjoy the holiday and keep in mind uh, fires are dangerous. Okay.